Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and if you hear any background noise, guys, that is because, I'll just show you quickly, we are dueling at IHOP tonight. <laughs> so, without further ado, guys, I'll let my friend Suji get started, so I do apologize for the background noise, but he's going to be profiling for you guys tonight, his Cosmo deck, so without further ado, I'll let him take over. So get started, man. You're good. Hi, guys. Uh, it's me again, coming back to the channel. Uh, thanks, uh, Seto Kaiba, for hosting me. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys is my new updated deck list uh, for December and uh, quite frankly I like it a lot. Um, this is the deck I used at the Island Games Seasonal Championship and um, it is very interesting because every I mean I play with like literally the best players in Virginia so uh, you know these guys are like the YCS champions, recurring YCS champions and top in like ARG all the time like Ryan Levine was the one who topped like got you know first place with you send you side frames you know so players that really know their stuff and and this deck did quite well and honestly they're i made some meta calls and they're really smart and you know i got a lot of credit by my friends as well for you know deciding to run some cards and i'll go ahead and uh, go to my deck so uh, three farm girls, you know, hard and soul. Thank the you, deck. sir. Uh, this card's like at an all time low right now. It's actually like b even below $30. The, that, yeah, at the yeah. moment of this if video, guys, it's if 30 If you guys have yeah. been waiting to play this deck, like just, just pick it up now. Uh, honestly, these these are extremely cheap. So before they go back up again because some random secondary markets price hike, like I, I would pick them up now. Um, so one scarecrow or straw man sorry i mix the names up all the time uh i don't it's not very good uh it's like i think it's just good at a one-off like honestly with the I new support you think it's going to stay in the deck no unfortunately i don't think it's i think if anything it's gonna forever stay at one with new support uh the new support changes the deck's play style so much that i don't think like you even rely on this really because the new support is very like graveyard centric so like if anything you're going to be using it to otk late game and that's about it uh this is where the ratios and stuff get a bit different um so so either you do two good witch, the only or one good witch. Uh, generally, I recommend that you only ever do one good witch because unfortunately this card doesn't really do anything versus any other matchup. It's amazing in the mirror match. So if you guys are going to be playing as a lot of cosmos, then run two of these uh, because she directly counters this. Um, this card is actually the best cosmo psychic monster in the deck. Um, like. Like, when you play this, your opponent can't really do anything. And this is really the safest turn one play you have, believe it or not. Uh, can't be destroyed, you pay during either player's life points, 1,000 life points. Can't be destroyed for the rest of the turn by battle and card effects. So, um, so here, in my in my current deck, um, like, for instance, if I'm, I am playing as Cosmos, this is the proper ratio to run. Uh, so, I would run two Wicked Witch and two Good Witch. Yeah. Um, because the whole purpose Good Witch has is, like, is like you know against the mirror match so if you're not if you know you're not gonna play against other cosmos like do this like run three wicked witch and one good witch so but if you're playing against the mirror match that's why you yeah, play if you know you're gonna yeah. be playing against mirror matches then do do two good witch and two wicked witch so what do you want in your build right now I'm guessing. so right now in my build i'm doing this i'm doing three wicked witch and one good witch because at my locals uh nobody plays cosmo i'm the only cosmo player and so everybody plays pepe and now the thing is i could play these decks but mirror match are just not fun to me. They really are not. They're very swingy. They all rely on you having like one card, and you know that's it. And you know I. That's why I just like playing stuff that's different. Um, two slip rider. Uh, this card, I'm actually starting to hate this card at three because I see it entirely too much. And seeing this card against perform pals actually force just I lose the game my opponent the table shaking okay. my opponent is able to pastel this away and I just get wrecked like like I do not want to see this card I see it entirely too much like like I see this in multiples I mean I mean I am just like starting to really hate on this card and I've done some cute clever plays where I try to shut down my opponent's scale
battles and honestly uh, when my opponent like is able to get scales up again and still proceeds to just pendulum summon i i just like you know get destroyed so so this i'm really happy at two because believe it or not even when i have it at two i still see two of these man so i mean <laughs> and it's searchable a farm girl so i have no problems i i personally from my own experience i have no problem running into this card like drawing it because i draw it way too much um i'm doing one cosmo dog fighter i'm actually really liking this card a lot because it lets me climb down the ladder and um you know go into this and it actually has mattered quite a bit because there's been times when my opponent has dealt with the ship ship after ship and i've been able to go down into this which is actually kind of important just for stalling it has doesn't have a bad effect uh i kind of like this card so um it's fun and uh it has a very cute synergy with one of the cards i have in my um, side deck which you know uh, i'm doing the bandy's fiends and i'm doing the monarch storm forth so this card is very good with monarch storm forth. you need a target you know for monarch storm forth so um i'm doing two cosmo forerunner uh you don't need three um right now two is actually a very good number uh not enough room so Three Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Three of the big ships. Uh, this is your literally your best card in the deck now. Um, like there's Cosmo Town and then there is this. This is just your best card. Uh, now you don't have to run three. If you have two, I would recommend you run two. Uh, it's nice that Konami is coming out with the new ship. I think the new ship is really just for players that have been able to afford this. So, but uh, you know, I think this. The, a lot of the hype behind this deck is dying down, but that's actually just where I want it to be because I picked this deck up for a reason because I like it and I enjoy it so you know it doesn't bother me if other people want to stop playing it so uh, you know hopefully this will go down as well so this is like farm goal status and you know it's really pricey for some people to be able to afford but you know hopefully you all get to enjoy the deck um, you know at this rate and 3 maxi he just picked these beautiful babies up yeah <laughs> we will showcase them uh, 3 maxis all 2 maxis <laughs> alright so uh, I think in this format it's just unplayable without Maxi. Cosmo is just kind of loose. There's just no way. Uh, you just can't reasoning uh, w because you just need answers to stop perform how uh, players. Like, there's just literally nothing you can do. This card is pretty much your only way to kind of like not just outright lose. Um, now, Maxi, uh, it's gonna actually believe it or not, uh, it's just right now not many, not, pe not, not many people have caught up to the fact that how crazy important this card is. Everyone's gonna start maining it now. There are people that are not maining this currently because the whole Necros format died down, you know? But people don't understand just how stupid this card is. Once again, you actually need it to survive in many cases against the perform power player or be able to keep up with them. The deck is just way too fast. Um, so, uh, 3 maxi, uh, because the deck just really needs it. I'm doing 2 Jura Ghetto. Uh, this has like a couple of synergies. Um, I'll explain a bit more uh, coming up in the spell cards. Um, 2 Jura Ghetto because I don't want to die. And honestly, th this is better than Honest. Uh, way better than Honest because I could use it on all the other targets in the deck too, which are dark targets. Like the deck has a very small light engine now. So Honest is honestly not not good at all. Like, no pun intended. So I think it's okay, but you're never going to go through the, the unbreakable Pepe boards. If they go first against you, they know. They know to just flood their board full of monsters so so i mean like this will hopefully this will help you swing over something like farm girl and you know you can get some advantage out of it uh one ghost over no you can either do one or two of these i have one in my side deck uh against pendulums uh this card you know once again um this card well it's like it's like aged wine this card just gets better and better as t as time goes on um so this card is once again making a comeback um to shut down the new perform pal deck in case you guys know that, um, I mean, in case you guys don't know, Dragon Pit Magician is a card, and if you're running um, floodgates and stuff like that, uh, you know, that actually gives the deck a natural out, like a non side out to floodgates and things like that. The beautiful part is that you just, you just chain this to Dragon Pit Magician's effect where they have to discard a card, they nag like infinitely. Um, I've actually won games when I've done that, my opponent's so far behind at that point. Um, 
because of my main deck uh, choice, so I'm gonna actually show that to you guys in a bit. Um, one is Diffusion. God, I love this card. This card's amazing. People, my opponents have started doing this thing where they just saw in the morning a um, a pilot when I summon it. I'm starting to notice the problem with the deck, and I'm actually, I actually want to experiment. Um, Gem Knight Fusion, uh, Brilliant Fusion. Sorry, um, because the deck is very reliant on its normal summons. Uh, when, yes, when you shut down true. the deck's normal summons, believe it or not, you kind of just like you just that's have infinite advantage. The card also goes to the graveyard; it's not banished. So don't don't warning a pilot that okay, banishes yeah, itself because they can always retrieve it. But if you're warning the normal summon, you just kind of like end the entire turn. They can't they can't really do anything. They're they're very reliant on an e telly at that point to do anything. Um, so this is actually my new favorite tech right now. I love it. Honestly, I got a lot of praise for running this um, at my locals. Uh, so I basically I played Thursday night at my locals, and uh, uh, you know everyone was doing the whole flood the entire board strat. Uh, farm goals just couldn't go through. It, I just was losing to just not having any sort of advantage. So for that specific instance, I ran this, and you know it worked beautifully. I love it. Like my opponents just don't understand how this works. They try to mirror conductor it. Uh, this gives my monster, Psychic Cosmo Monster, 500 attack and defense. It can attack two monsters, and it gets piercing. If it dies uh, and sent to the graveyard from the field, I pay 800 and add it back to my hand. This with Farm Girl is infinite win. I mean, I mean, I just, I just go start going into advantage zone at this point. At this point, like it's just, it's just nuts. I'm just drawing free cards and I'm just returning them from Cosmo Town. This card's so beautiful. I love it. No one expects it. This is literally the best way to deal with the unbreakable Pepe boards. Oh god, uh, it's so beautiful. Um, three Cosmo Town, you know, best card of the deck. Um, so for for you new players, if you don't know what it does, it's just magical mallet, uh, throwback, a Cosmo monster, and you know, put a remove monster, uh, Cosmo monster in hand, take damage times 100. This card will just kind of just give you infinite advantage. They let you float. Uh, there's a lot of deck synergy with this card. Um, I actually won a game against a Cleave player. Shout out to Stefan. Uh, it's very interesting because the Cleave player was running Wicked Avatar. It's still a Towers Turbo essentially, but it's instead running Wicked Avatar. And the Cleave player was running Skybase. Now, I had a game where the Wicked a Avatar resolved. Now, when a Wicked Avatar resolves against something like Klee, you would just lose. But in my case, I actually set this and I destroyed the set Cosmo Town with the Slip Rider, getting the Dark Destroyer hand, crashing the Slip Rider, getting a pilot, summoning the Dark Destroyer, killing the Wicked Avatar, running over the Sky Base. Oh god, it was amazing. Uh, it was very interesting. Uh, that was actually recorded in one of my future matches on stream. Uh, it, was, it was pretty awesome. Uh, so uh, you can see how awesome the card is. Three Telly, uh, one Allure. Uh, I really like this card. So I'm going to have darks now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's just part of part of for the deck, honestly. I love it. Um, two MSC. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, two MSCs because MSC is very important now. Um, honestly, uh, this is main deck uh, to like you know the pendulum scales and and just random dragon pit magician etc etc. So these are all the spells you guys. And then I have two Stygian Dirge. Uh, I'm maining this because um, perform pals are the deck to beat. Wow. wow. This deck actually has an insane good matchup versus everything. Um, just everything. Uh, I'm not scared about Rogue because Cosmo doesn't care about Rogue decks. Um, Stygian Dirge. I mean, my opponents were just like, what is this? Like, I mean, I mean, honest to God, this, this was just the Island Game Seasonal Champion. Everybody was actually deciding this and I made the meta call to just main it and uh, I'm actually going to be going to a regional soon um, in, uh, this weekend in Philadelphia. I'm going to be maining this again because because Perform Pals are the deck to beat. So not Cosmo, not 
whatever, you know. So, and I'm running two times. That trap card also. is so good. I'm yep. sorry. This is this is that an card. answer to Ignisters, and oh on top God. of that, this is actually so this is why I'm not the afraid of Cosmos heard. either. This also makes Cosmos. <laughs> so the deck is pretty good, main deck. Uh, torrential tribute. I actually go back and forth between Regeki. Uh, I'm actually siding Regeki. I don't know if I might I might just take it out, but I I, I go back and forth. Uh, Regeki has his benefits where you just clear the board and go through the farm grow, but this is to stop like uh, pendulum players on their turn, etc. It's actually I, I really like it. So they don't kill you. Uh, I'm turn. testing yeah. it actually right now. So yeah, so if they don't just kill you, um, or you can like if anything uh, bait out Diamond Dire, which forces them to do this awkward turn, you know. So they you know, they don't get to make those greedy turns, um, etc. Uh, one of one vanities and one solemn warning. Um, very, yeah, self-explanatory, very important. This is very important for you know pendulums and whatnot. Um, that was the 40 card main deck. Um, Extra deck now. I don't know if we yep. have time for the uh, side deck, man, but we're yep, trying. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, how much time do we have? We have uh, five minutes. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. We'll have like more than enough time. All right, man. all right. So extra deck uh, doesn't matter what you run. A Mist Dweller, uh, Artifact, Durandal. Um, very, very good. You can make a soft lock with this card. Ladies, Durandal, uh, best, best cards. Uh, pretty much like the Xyz engine. Um, number 16, 61, Volcasaur has a combo with Ring of Destruction like effect and you Gaia charge them for game. Uh, it's actually beautiful. Uh, one Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Uh, this card's actually pretty, pretty good. Um, don't get to use it often, but it's just there. Uh, so one Elder NT Norton for the Instant Fusion. This is the important part. One Panzer Dragon. Uh, this is actually not only an out to something like Imperial Iron Wall. This uh, lets you do rank 4 plays. Uh, rank 5 plays, sorry. So with Artifact Durandal and Pallades and Volcasaur, you can go into this really easy. Um, one Ancient Fairy Dragon. This actually helped me win the game. One of my games helped me win. It's so big. Uh, versus versus a uh, uh, deck. Chimeratech. One Chimeratech Cyber uh, Fortress Dragon. Uh, Black Rose. Uh, Michael. And uh, Red Dragon. Arc Fiend. Scarite. Because I'm running Ghost Overs. 15 card. Um, extra deck. Now, these are all kind of like cards I'm suggesting to you guys from the side deck. Because side deck is all depending on what you guys are playing against. Yeah. Uh, so I highly recommend that you, I mean, you can run Typhoons. Uh, so remember, these are suggestions, guys. Yep, these yeah. are all suggestions. Uh, I'm highly suggesting these. Uh, Monarch Storm 4th, uh, I'm siding in three, so this would be like, you know, my third one. Um, uh, here you go, here are the other ones. Uh, three of these. Uh, one Ghost Ogre, because I'm siding this, so I, you know, two, game two and three, I just side this in against pendulums. Uh, these are very important, you guys. Uh, these are 100% going to be my side deck cards because, again, perform pals are the deck to beat. Uh, Flying C is for perform pals, so I don't just get wrecked. So, like, you know, random crazy XCs play, etc. Um, once the third Citizen Dirge, uh, this is 100% for game two and three. Uh, Grand Horn of Heaven. Uh, I, yeah, amazing card. I'm also, I'm also siding these. I was actually banning these at the Island Championship. But you know, uh, now I'm back in normal locals game formats again, so I'm just gonna be citing them uh, against. Uh, pendulums. Uh, two Cyber Dragons, you know, against the Cosmo matchup. 100% they'll be in the side. Uh, now, three Veilers. Uh, I was actually maining these for the for the Island Championship that I had attended. Uh, I really liked it. It actually helped me out quite a bit. Baited quite a bit of plays. Card was amazing. Like, they even tried to get Black Rose off to get out to Siege and Dirge. Like, they couldn't, etc, etc. So, I'm gonna try to find ways to, like, somehow fit these or, you know, continue citing them. Uh, MST, you know, the third MST. MST if you ever need to deal with the pendulums and or the iron wall depending on what you guys play against. Other uh, vanities they actually work quite well with the with the three monarchs storm forth because game two and three you just side these guys in. Oh my god, like you just don't have to worry about anything for days. <laughs> Uh, this is my secret tech, you guys. Lava, Lava Golem. I saw this. This card is beautiful. About this. I'm gonna get like two or three of them, and um, the <laughs> the Allies Vortex Dragon is a thing, and card 
cards like that are gonna be insane problem cards. Uh, this is OCG's answer to annoying cards like Infinity and things like that. Honest or and Dark Wall. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend you guys try to slide these because I definitely want to get everybody separate checks. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yep. So yeah, this uh, this is gonna be my new favorite hot, te hot tech. You guys like? I mean, like literally, no pun intended. All of them is like just it's gonna come out blazing. It's gonna be amazing. Arise Vortex Dragon, etc. etc. Like I mean, like game two and three. I mean, I'm not worried. I just can't wait till I try this card. And yep. So that was it, you guys. That was the Cosmo deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much, Suji, man. Yep. Thank you, Soto Kaiba, for having me on your Anytime, channel. Anytime, man. Yep. Yep. So take care, guys. Till next time. Take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. We'll see you guys next time. And we're signing out from IHOP. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Yep. Yep. I am. I am.